guys, what's up? My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent and one of the questions that I get asked frequently is what drone do I use and who is the one who takes all of my drone uh, imagery or videography? Well, I actually use the Phantom 3 standard and the driver or operator of my drone is the drone. I use some smart features and I don't actually use the standard DJI Go app. I use a third party app called Leechy and I feel that Leechy provides uh, me with some feature sets that uh, the standard uh, DJI Go app does not include. As a matter of fact, some of these features are some of the features that are found on the new Phantom 4, and I want to demonstrate the one feature that I think is the most helpful, which is the tracking and follow feature. Uh, this actually does have a tracking and a follow feature where it visually tracks and follows a subject. So let me go ahead and demonstrate how this works. So what you're looking at right now is a video capture of what I'm seeing on screen on the Leechy app. Now what's great is this video uh, screen capture is part of the app as well. So that's another added feature that the DJI Go app doesn't have. So I select the track feature and then I select what it is I'm trying to track. And then as I move around, it will track me. Oops, but it didn't. So you'll notice here that it messed up. Uh, and so it turns red and it stops tracking. And I had to go back and reset uh, the tracking feature to make sure that it was properly tracking me. So I redrug the box around myself. Uh, using my fingers you just right on the screen and now it should track me fine now what it will do is it will try to attempt to keep me in the center of the frame so as I move around uh, whether that be in around the drone or even away from the drone it will just attempt to keep me in the center of the frame and the drone is going to maintain its GPS position you'll notice uh, in the lower right hand corner you'll see in red the GPS it's not moving around it's staying in position and all it does is turn left or right to track me in real time. However, uh, you can go ahead and rotate the aircraft around yourself uh, or whatever it is you're trying to track. So you'll notice that feature. I select the, the orbit speed, uh, hit the play button on screen, and it will begin to, uh, or hit the orbit button on screen, tell it to go, and it will begin to track me. And you'll see in the lower right hand corner in red, the drone is now moving around me. Uh, and keeping me in the center of the frame as it orbits. Now, if I begin to move around, <clears throat> if I begin to change my position, the drone will change its position in order to try to perfectly orbit around me. So keep that in mind. If you move, that drone will move as well. It will not only orbit around you, it will move to try to keep that orbit going around you as you move. So that's something to keep into your consideration as you're using that feature. Now, there is uh, a tracking feature that allows the drone to follow you. Now you'll notice right now as I walk away from the drone, it's not following me. It's just trying to keep me in the center of the frame, but it's not going to fly towards me to, to keep me um, close. However, there is the option to go ahead and follow me where the drone will follow me, keep me in the center of the frame, uh, and uh, I'm going to demonstrate that feature here now. So when you select the track and follow feature, it will flash up kind of an initial warning stating that you should be ready to regain control of the aircraft at any time because who knows what could happen. Uh, so right now it's tracking me and following me. So as I move away from the aircraft, it will actually fly towards me, to, uh, not only to try to keep me in the center of the frame, but also to keep my sizing about the same. So again, as I get kind of closer to it, it will kind of back away. Uh, and if it glitches out, you'll You'll notice here it will in just a second follow and to do to low confidence it will continue to track me but it will no longer follow me so right now it's kind of glitching out and it's continuing to try to track me but you'll notice as I walk away it's no longer following because that feature was canceled so I'm going to go back to my controller and go ahead and reset up the tracking and the follow feature to kind of give you a, an idea of how it does work um, and uh, again, you got that warning message that it flashes up. So now it is tracking me and it's going to be following me. So as I walk away from the drone, it will follow towards me. And you'll see on the lower right hand corner in red, you'll see how that drone is actually moving around uh, in that parking lot to track me. And then as I get closer to it, it will back away and continue to uh, track and follow me. So that is how I do all of my shots 
Now, I imagine that the Phantom 4, its tracking and follow features are probably a lot more advanced, but for my purposes, I don't mind having to do some several takes or several attempts, and for me, I get, I, in my opinion, a lot of the similar functionality with just simply an app rather than having to upgrade my entire drone and spend an additional $1,000 just to uh, upgrade the drone. So I get these great shots here. The drone is taking all of these shots, following me, tracking me automatically, and I feel that that it provides a great value. So definitely check out the Leechy app. The follow and tracking features on it are pretty damn good. To me, it's worth spending, you know, 10, 20 bucks, however much the app costs in the app market to uh, pair with my $500 drone. I guess now it's under $500 and provide me with these fantastic shots. Hey guys, thanks for watching. My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. We'll catch you next time.